Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Madison Kittens from Daniel Madison and Illusionist.com. All right, so what are the Madison Kittens? What is this deck all about? You know, I think when this deck first came out, we kind of all thought probably what happened was the Illusionist team was sitting around a table and they were laughing about how easily it is to sell a Daniel Madison deck. They are probably saying, you know what, we could probably put Daniel Madison's name on a phone book and people would buy it thinking it was some sort of magic phone book, right? And so somebody probably just threw out there, you know what, you know, remember, you remember those uh, decks of playing cards that are at your grandma's house that have like cats and balls of yarn on it? I bet you we could make a deck just like that, put Daniel Madison's name on it and it would sell out. And there were people were like, dude, you should do it. And then Illusionist did it. So <laughs> that's, I don't know, that's probably, that is probably not what happened, but it's kind of what it feels like what happened because that's kind of what happened. I mean, where else would you get a crazy idea like this except from the minds of Daniel Madison and the team down at Illusionist? This deck is designed to be an unassuming weapon so that you can do some killer magic, some killer sleight of hand with a deck that looks exactly like a deck of cards that you would have pulled out of your grandma's desk drawer. It has tons of like sweatery graphics on the tech case. The back design, of course, is two adorable kittens playing in a wicker basket with balls of yarn. The back and the fronts are all uh, aged to make it look like, you know, no one's ever washed their hands when they've played with this deck and it's seriously clumpy, but it's not. And uh, yeah, it's just made to look like a, a deck of novelty cards where in fact, this deck is actually built from the ground up to be a magical deck. It's got everything you'd expect, all the bells and whistles, but the question is, does it work? Does it work? Did Illusionist and Daniel Madison succeed with this deck? Let's get into the review. The tuck case is all done in a knitted sweater pink uh, and like light purple. The front of the tuck case says kittens and you have a cat face and it says playing cards underneath that. And it does have this kind of like sweatery texture uh, all the way around. One side of the tuck case says Madison and the other side has some cat paw prints going up. The bottom has some ad copy about the Illusionist playing card company and the top says traditionally cut playing cards made in the USA. The back design is the M Madison logo and the two tiny tuck flaps on the inside have a seven of hearts reveal. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards come printed from the United States Playing Card Company on the thinner Crush Stock. They also have a traditional cut and air cushion embossed. And if you'd like to learn more about what stock cut or finish means, you can click one of the links below in the description. Now, when we say thin stock, we kind of want to know, okay, how thin? How thin are we talking? Uh, the best way I can uh, answer that question for you is to measure them. I can stick 10 of these cards in a caliper, measure them, and give you an idea about how they might compare to other decks maybe that you've held. Uh, 10 of these in the caliper come to 2.75. 2.75 is the same thickness as the Bumblebee cards, the Confessions cards that Daniel Madison also released, and the Aurelian deck. The back design has a nice thin uh, white border that's comprised of a little red ribbon that has uh, flowers in it. And on the top and bottom, you get two circles, very similar to you know what a bicycle deck would look like, uh, top and bottom circle. And you have uh, two cats there, one cat in the basket, one cat out, and some balls of yarn at the bottom. Now, a couple things about the back design. Number one, aged, okay, so it's aged. You got that little granules of you know dirt specks all over the back. And uh, second thing is, it, this is a one-way back design. Okay, one-way back design, the marking is in the pink circle right underneath the handle. So right underneath the handle on one, you're gonna see a little dot, and underneath the handle on the other one, you won't see the dot, so that's a one-way back design. Second thing is, these are marked cards. Now, I think a lot of us we're excited about this feature. Like, okay, mark cards. And you know, there's always two different types of markings. There's a real marking where you have to decipher a code, and then there's a reader back where you'd actually just clearly read what the cards were. Now, these are reader backs, which means if it's an ace of spades, it'll have an A and an S, or an A and the icon of a spade, okay? So uh, that would be what a reader back is. These are reader backs. Here's the thing, and, and this is not just my opinion. I, I've heard this from sub, several others as well. Man, the team down at Illusionist must have some incredible eyesight. Daniel Madison and his team must, they must 
see incredibly far distances and even better up close. Like, I, I do not know how these guys have such insane vision because I cannot read the back of these cards. Now granted, I mean, just from looking at me, you know, I wear glasses, I wear glasses, I do. But my glasses aren't that bad. <laughs> They're not that bad. And like, I can't, I cannot even focus to, to get the card to where I would even be able to read these, I would have to pull this up really close, but then once the deck is that close to my face, I can't even focus on the card anymore. My, my eyes can't focus on something that close. And uh, Daniel Madison said that these are dealer marks so that you know when you're dealing to the table and you're looking down directly at it, uh, then you can see the marking. But the problem is it's such a faint marking Right? It's such a faint marking. It's not an obvious marking. It's very faint. It's the same color as the ribbon. So, and then you got these pixelations that are in there too, some distressings that kind of distract you. And then on top of that, um, you know, if it's a dealer marking, it, it, you're probably going to be inside. Inside lighting is terrible compared to outside lighting. I can barely see this in an outside lighting. In an inside light lighting, it's invisible. And now I have broken the magician's cardinal rule and I've shown these cards to other people and said, hey, can you read this? They can't read it either. So if you're buying these because you think this is gonna be an incredibly marked deck, uh, I got news for you. They're almost impossible to read. So yeah, that's the, but that's just my opinion. There's probably people out there that'll disagree with me, but that's my, that's what, I, that's what I came away with. Now, there are no jokers with this deck. You are instead gonna get a bunch of extra gaff cards. And so one of those is you will get two ace of spades. And so you could do kind of like a color change trick with this in one ace. Uh, there's a crow flying above the cat. And in the second ace, obviously the cat has eaten the crow. You will also get three more additional cards. You're gonna get a nine of clubs angle Z card. You're gonna get an extra nine of spades cards that has a gimmicked back and you will get a double faced card that has an ace of clubs three of diamonds uh tra transpo like color change shift card uh on just the face your pips and indice cards are all going to be completely industry standard uh good solid colors like i said the only thing really is that they're distressed the red is a little faded it's not gonna be a bright red because obviously these are a distressed uh, look and so it's supposed to look more like the vintage decks so your reds will be a little distressed your court cards are all gonna be the Daniel Madison courts that you've seen in the past so of course uh, Daniel Madison is the king of diamonds and then a lot of his friends are also kings and they appear on some of the other cards as well their colorings have also been redone to match the tech case so you're gonna see a lot of those pinks and a lot of those like green soft yellows uh, as well well, that is pretty much everything I can say about the new Madison Kittens from Daniel Madison and Illusionist.com. Uh, if you want this deck and you want to pick this up, I would highly recommend you head on down to Illusionist.com and buy one today. Thanks. Bye.